Can you have a heart attack without realizing it? Spoiler, yes, yes you can. Heart attacks may not always be defined by crushing chest pains and can sometimes strike with few to no symptoms. A heart attack or a myocardial infarction occurs when a clot blocks the flow of blood and oxygen to the heart, which damages or kills heart muscle cells. The most common symptom of this is pain or discomfort in the chest area. But research has found that at least 45% of attacks are silent, occurring with less intense symptoms and thus go undetected. Silent myocardial infarctions have been known to take place in men more than women. Symptoms are often mistaken for other conditions and include fatigue, dizziness, nausea, and pain in the neck, jaw, and arm. Silent heart attacks are usually identified using an electro or echocardiogram, which detects damaged heart tissue. Patients who have suffered a silent attack are at a higher risk of having a second one or succumbing to sudden cardiac arrest. Doctors stress the importance of getting checked, even if the symptoms may not seem serious. At the end of the day, it's better to be safe than sorry. Keep watching for other heart health issues to look out for. Boy's heart stops after eating a hot dog. A boy who ate a heart stopping hot dog is the subject of a strikingly odd new medical study. A report in the medical journal Pediatric describes how a nine-year-old boy's heart stopped beating after he began eating a hot dog in Istanbul, Turkey. He was later resuscitated. Choking can lead to cardiac arrest in children, but in this case, medical staff found the hot dog stimulated the boy's vagus nerve, which in turn triggered an abnormal rhythm that caused his heart to stop. Upon further investigation and an electrocardiogram, he was found to have a rare life-threatening heart rhythm condition known as Brugada syndrome. The child was later implanted with a defibrillator to help regulate the abnormal heart rhythms via electrical impulses. The condition is reportedly inherited and more common among those of Southeast Asian descent. Tetralogy of Fallot Explained Late night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel became visually emotional during his show on Monday after revealing his newborn son was diagnosed with a congenital heart disorder and had to undergo emergency open heart surgery. His son, Billy, was born with Tetralogy of Fallot, which occurs in only five of every 10,000 births. But what exactly is this condition? In a healthy heart, oxygen-poor blood flows into the right atrium and ventricle, through the pulmonary artery, and into the lungs to be oxygenated. The now oxygen-rich blood flows back into the left atrium and ventricle and is pumped out through the aorta to be circulated into the body. Tetralogy of Fallot is when a heart has a hole in the interior wall separating the ventricles and a narrower pulmonary passageway. This means the heart works harder to pump blood into the lungs, resulting in thicker right ventricle muscles. Because of the hole in between the ventricles, oxygen-poor blood is allowed to flow directly into the aorta and the rest of the body. This lack of oxygen causes a bluish tint in the skin, lips, and nails. The exact causes of tautology of Fallot remain unknown, and treatment requires surgery. Left untreated, patients are at an increased risk of sudden death, especially in the first three years of life. Many children who have it survive into adulthood, but need lifelong medical care to keep them healthy. Meanwhile, debates over U.S. health care have dominated this week's headlines, as the American Health Care Act has just passed the House of Representatives. And with Trump care, there's a chance people with pre-existing conditions, such as Tetology of Fallot, will be denied coverage. Wisdom Tooth Surgery Girl was alive, but died the next day. Sydney Gallagher, the Minnesota teen who was thought to have died after a routine wisdom teeth extraction, was actually still alive, but in a coma. Diane Gallagher, Sydney's mother, said that she was misunderstood and confirmed on June 15 that her daughter was still alive. However, Sydney had already met 9 out of the 10 criteria to be classified as brain dead. Unfortunately, on June 16, the Gallagher family announced that Sydney had passed away. Sydney underwent a routine wisdom teeth extraction on June 9. The procedure was going well until the end when the 17-year-old had a heart attack. She was rushed to the University of Minnesota Amblatt's Children's Hospital to undergo surgery due to brain swelling. The doctor said that the Eden Prairie teen may have had an undiagnosed heart condition. It is still a mystery what caused the cardiac arrest. According to her family's Caring Bridge Post, Sydney's funeral will be held on Saturday, June 20. Cold weather can cause heart arrhythmia. Temperatures have begun to drop in Taiwan, which is only a semi-tropical island. The winter temperature drop is what caused Mr. Su, age 34, 
to pass out while checking out his company's warehouse. Mr. Suze suffered a heart arrhythmia, which meant that his heart failed to pump enough blood to reach his brain, and he fainted. Mr. Su woke up two weeks later in the hospital with a long gash in his chest, where doctors had performed surgery to place a pacemaker inside his chest. Although winters in Taiwan are generally considered mild, with an average low of around 55 degrees Fahrenheit, this can still affect some individuals with previously undiagnosed heart conditions. So remember to bundle up for the cold. Carrie Fisher dies at the age of 60. Yet another star has gone out in the galaxy during the waning moments of 2016. Actress Carrie Fisher, most famous for her iconic portrayal of Princess Leia in the Star Wars universe, has passed away at the age of 60. On a flight from London on December 23rd, Fisher went into cardiac arrest just 15 minutes before landing in Los Angeles. A doctor and nurse on board the flight rushed to her aid, as EMTs on the ground prepared to immediately transport her to a medical facility. After being taken to hospital and treated, the entire internet breathed a huge sigh of relief when reports indicated she was in stable condition. That sigh came a bit too early, though. The femme fatale was reported dead on December 27th. Carrie Fisher now joins David Bowie, Prince, Muhammad Ali, George Michael, and too many more on the tragic list of legends we lost this year. While fans mourn her loss, we are also left to wonder what will become of Princess Leia in future installments of the Star Wars saga. Shooting for Episode 8 wrapped in July, but with Leia set to play a key role in Episode 9, mystery as to who will fill her shoes now consumes the future of the franchise. Rest in peace, Princess. The Force was strong with you. And damn it, 2016, just leave us alone!